Welcome back everyone, in today's video we will try to answer the question bothering most space engineers, how to make ships look better. From this video you will learn where to take the inspiration from, how to start the project, how to give a general shape, how to plan a drive, how to do mid-build testing and adjustments, how to apply detailing, top tire workshop creators. In general there are two schools of building ships, utilitary and style over substance. We will focus on the first one. The inspiration. If you don't know what to build yet, you can look for inspiration in various places. There are TV series like Star Wars, The Expanse, Star Trek, or Ballard's Star Galactica. Video games like Star Citizen, Eve Online, or upcoming Starfield. Websites like Pinterest or DeviantArt. Or you can simply type in Google search bar, spaceship, or anything else that you're interested in creating. All those places contain a huge amount of beautiful, original, and highly detailed crafts. Even if you don't want to recreate any of those ships completely, looking them up may give you ideas for certain subsystems. If you're looking for a ready developed solution, you should rather turn to Steam Workshop or Space Engineers Reddit page. At the end of this video, I give you a detailed reference list of my favorite workshop creators. Believe me, it's worth to check their work. Following those will teach you various building techniques and make it easy to develop your own unique building style. Starting a project. Before we start to build anything, it's worth to set up the environment. The most optimal will be the creative mode. It offers various tools like mirroring that improves the entire process significantly. For me, it's also easier to start building in the vacuum of space. The most important phase of the project is choosing the role of the ship. With that in mind, selection of the needed functional blocks and type of drive will be easier. Let's say that we are building a miner. Functional blocks we need are drills, gyroscope, batteries, remote control, containers, conveyors, and connector. Let's leave the drive for later. Putting all the functional blocks together will give you a rough idea of the total mass of the ship. Having this information, it is possible to determine how much thrust the ship is going to need. There are three basic types of thrusters, iron, hydrogen, and atmospheric plus gravity and clank drives. Certain types of thrust have their advantages, for example, hydrogen thrusters are smaller, lighter, and produce more lift in every environment, but require extra space for a tank and conveyor system. Sometimes the optimal solution may be to combine different types of thrust. Using calculators like this one, it's possible to quickly tell how much thrust is needed. If the ship will transport cargo, add extra thrust to the calculation to compensate for it. Put all the crucial components together. That helps to visualize the possible optimal layout of the ship and to add thrust in the right spots. If it's not optimal at the first try, don't worry. The point here is to optimize the construction, not create a perfect one at the first try. Remember that you don't need to install all the equipment at once. Here's the example of Loki, a completely modular ship. It can be turned from grinder roll into welder or miner. Cargo hold or truss can be expanded with additional modules. Another example of modular build may be this additional armament for fighter jets. In this case, the plane is only a platform that can be transformed according to the needs. If you feel like the layout is okay, let's proceed to giving the ship a shape. Giving the ship a decent look is not an easy task. It is a good practice to construct your entire craft in one bright color, for example light gray or white. If it will look decent without a fancy paint job, it will likely look even better with the proper colors applied. Remember that the ship doesn't always need to be covered completely in armor. Sometimes leaving some openings may give a great effect. Don't rush. Finding the perfect shape takes time and many tries. Over here you can see a python frigate by Panzer Boy. And here's the first iteration of the ship. The point here is that you should keep trying until you are happy with the effect. Performance testing. Early phase of the project is a good opportunity to test the performance. It is better to do that before we get to the conclusion that the ship needs extra thrust or cargo space to avoid doing extreme makeovers or nearly finished product. Make sure that the ship fits in the role it was initially designed for. Check if it behaves well in the areas of acceleration, handling, or firepower if needed. If you build for survival, make sure that everything is properly conveyed. It's easy to miss that. Polishing the craft. When there's nothing more you'd like to add to your creation, it is time to finalize the build. That means details and paint job. Those can make a huge difference. I highly recommend checking this Black Armor's video, where he explains how to apply details to the builds. Leaving blank, smooth spots is usually not the best idea. Try to fill the surface of the craft with details. There are plenty of tricks to add depth to your build. Stuff like ribs, bends, or frames work perfect on most of the builds. The more aerodynamic the surface of your ship is, the better impression it makes. 
at more angles and avoid leaving 90 degree slopes unless it's intended. Adding various types of antennas helps to get the sci-fi look. If there are any holes or gaps, try to fill them with something. A small bright light can make a big difference. Orange or red blinking lights will give some extra effect. LCDs work great too. There's a whole gamma of LCD textures that can be applied and work great. Coloring is probably the easiest way to apply depth to your build. Dark gray works excellent as a base color for the inside layer of the ship. It contrasts well with bright red, blue, yellow or orange that can be applied for the outer layer of armor. If you have skins, use them. Carbon or welded armor are making a great impression. It is a good idea to apply more than two colors to the craft. However, don't go crazy with it. The most successful builds from the workshop are usually limited to three or four colors, with small high contrast additions. Another great way of adding details to the ship is combining large and small grids together. That's Argo Mall by Calibra. Small grids added to the main body of the ship gave an excellent effect here. Using small grid blocks allowed to get a more detailed shape and apply micro elements like lights or heat vents that will be hard to create only with large blocks in such a scale. Using this technique requires merging grids via rotors or connectors which is not always easy, but can be beneficial when trying to add more details to your craft. Workshop reference list. Here's a list of my favorite workshop creators. Their master craft and ship design may give you an inspiration to create on your own, or you can simply check how certain things are done by the top creators. Number one on this list is Black Armor. His master craft and applying details can be hardly compared to any other workshop creator. His work is always done with care and new solutions are innovative and original. If you want to get better with details, check this guy's work. You can find his YouTube channel and workshop links in the description. Another great creator on this list is Trap, the master of small crafts. His work is often minimalistic and yet still filled with details. On his workshop, you can find plenty of well-detailed small crafts, but he also posts stations or larger grids too. Next on the list is Crimson Adder with his collection of combat crafts. The shapes he was able to achieve on his builds are absolutely unique. And if you're trying to build realistically looking crafts, his creations will show you a way. If by any chance you're trying to build a miner or any other utility ship, you have to check the Makra's workshop. His collection of compact miners is one of a kind. And if you need any of those crafts, this is probably the way to go. Voltas is the last creator on my list. His workshop includes entire ecosystem of crafts, from stations and refineries to miners, tanks, transport craft, containers to drones and tanks. All of them in high quality and mostly survival ready. You can find all the links to the mentioned workshop pages in the description of this video.